Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Abhilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Pound Yen GBP JPY for Monday. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. And if you also trade on other pairs like Euro, USD, GBP, USD, Gold, USD, then do check out the Forex analysis playlist on my YouTube channel as well. So let's get started. So this is the four dollar chart of GBP JPY in front of us right now, and the last traded price is one fifty six point nine eight. If we look at the overall chart of GBP JPY, then you can see that after this huge fall, okay, there is also a sharp recovery in the market as well. We have a pure V pattern. Okay, pure V pattern means it's a trend reversal in the market. And if we just focus on the present trend of GBP JPY, or if I just ask you to observe this particular portion of the market here, then you can easily see that this market is an uptrend, and there is no doubt about it. As we all know, market has only one rule, and that is follow the trend. Whether you trade on stock market, forex market, commodity market doesn't matter. Market always says that follow the trend. That's it. Okay, and considering the trend of the market, okay, we should be looking for buy positions only because in this market we can see that this market is in sharp uptrend right now. Okay, so therefore, for GBP JPY buying is the best opportunity right now. Yes, we do have a resistance also, resistance at one fifty eight level. Okay, at one fifty eight to one fifty eight. Point three zero. This is a strong resistance in the market, and this resistance level is strong enough, uh, strong because this level belongs to the weekly chart. Previously, when market was is very strong enough, okay, this was the level market failed to break. So right now, again, we can hope that when market will be hitting the one fifty eight level, one fifty eight point three zero level, market will face the same amount of selling pressure, and there may be a trend reversal again. We can take a sell position at 158 level, 158.30 level if market reverses. But right now, market is not at 158. Rather, it's just trading at 156.98. So as of now, okay, until and unless market reaches the 158 level, जब तक market वहाँ तक नहीं पहुँचता है, buying at tip is the best option considering the trend of the market. Okay, considering the trend of the market, buying at tip is the best option. First of all, I would like to talk about 155.77 level. 155.70. This level is important. Why this level is important? Because this is a uh, this is uh, this level is from the Fibonacci retracement. See, if I draw the Fibonacci retracement level here, you can see that 155.77 is the uh, Fibonacci 23.6 percent retracement. So, if market comes down to the Fibonacci uh, level. Here, observe the market. So on Monday, after the market opening, if market comes to this level, observe the market and see how the market is reacting. If you find market bouncing from this level, you can go for a buy because we will consider it as a retracement. And apart from this retracement level, we do not have any such retracement level on the four hour chart. So what you can do is that you can also use the 50 moving average on the one hour chart. You can see on the one-hour chart, the 50 moving average is also more or less acting as a dynamic support for the market. Okay. So on Monday, if you find market coming down, if you find GBP JPY going down, then observe the market around the 50 moving average. If you see GBP JPY taking support at the 50 moving average and bouncing, you can go for a buy. Because 50 moving average is the dynamic support for the market, and if 50 moving average provides uh, uh, fails to provide the uh, support to the market. Then obviously, wait for buy around 155.780. Okay, 155.80 to 155.50. Okay. So your first retracement level is the 50 moving average. The 50 moving average. If market bounces on a 50 moving average, you can go for a buy. If market Fails to bounce from 50 moving average, you can expect the market to bounce from this level. If it bounces, you can go for a buy. But if nothing happens, okay, and let's say uh, the, just the opposite happens after the market opening. If you see GBP JPY going up instead of going down, then you can go for a buy. If market breaks 157.25. 
okay so if you see gbp jpy trading above 157.25 level you can go for a buy but i would like to remind you one thing that please follow proper risk management and use proper stop loss because see um if you take a buy position here after the market opening okay, the, we do not have any proper support here okay after few hours if market starts trading comfortably above this level then the particular resistance will convert into a support but as of now this is still a resistance level for us so if market breaks it so you must be very very careful and use proper stop loss see this is my analysis i can be wrong as well okay if i have missed anything please write down in the comment section i would love to learn from you okay so whatever you do please follow risk management so these are the trading opportunities that I see on the chart of GBP JPY right now. If it comes down, buy at dip is the best option. 50 moving average on a one hour chart and the uh, 155.70, the 80 to 155.50 are the best options. But if it goes up, breaks the level of 157.25, then also you can go for a buy. If the breakout is good enough, if you see a big green candle, then you can go for a buy, but use proper risk management. Okay, that is very, very important. Bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow.